Hello everyone, and welcome to Persona 3 Portable, a journey revisited for some of us, but yeah, this is our next project, and believe it or not, I've never done a playthrough of this game. I've played it a little bit, but did not get far, and I've especially never played a certain mode that is unique to this version of the game. So I have covered Persona 3 in the past, actually like, oh my god, nine years ago. But this version of the game does feature some very exclusive content, so join me as we have a trip down memory lane in a somewhat familiar story. I'm going in this sort of blind. It's been nine years, I truly don't remember everything about p 3 story, but let's just get started, shall we? I'm excited, hope you are too. Welcome to the world of P3P. In this game, you can select the gender of the main character. The course of the game will change based on the main character's gender. By choosing a male, main character. Maybe to play a version very close to the original P3. This is recommended for new players who have yet to experience P3. It's kind of weird that it says that. The m female main character added to this game is not just for female players. She's also for veterans of P3 and P3FES who want a new perspective. That's the right up my alley. Let's get to it. So, just a heads up. This will vary pretty significantly from my original project to P3. In that amount of time, nine years, I think I've changed a whole heck of a lot. And that was like, what, my first like Atlas game ever? So yeah, this is a, a bit of a fresh new start in more ways than one, and I am so excited. But with that being said, the old walkthrough is a walkthrough. This is kind of like more of a casual, like fun thing. So yeah, I'm doing easy mode, and I plan to absolutely demolish this game just a heads up. This is, if you're if you're stuck, this is not the place for you. Now, please enjoy the game. Oh, don't worry, I will. Wow, it's been a while. There he goes. Time never waits. It delivers all equally to the same end. You who wish to safeguard the future, however limited it may be, you will be given one year. Go forth without falter, with your heart as your guide. Okay. I'll do my best, Mr. Butterfly. I won't let you down. I'll try. But Oh man, I actually have goosebumps. What the I didn't think I was that excited for this. <laughs> Guess it's just the uh, familiar sights and sounds. Well, the sound effects are pretty nostalgic too, but here's a familiar sight. Terminal station evening. I do remember this. They cut out there's a guy that has an afro at the station. I get I think he's like playing an instrument. And they cut him out. Definitive edition, yeah, right. The station entrance is buzzing with activity. But not very interesting here, dudes. Meanwhile, elsewhere. I just put it to my head and pull the trigger. No chickening out. No, I can't. I forgot the instructions. Two-step process, too complicated. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I love these characters, but anyway. Inside the new city passenger train, Anahazuru. Due to a malfunction in the switching system, today's rail schedule has been greatly altered. We apologize to any customers who were in a hurry. The next stop is Iwatodai. Hmm. Iwa Todai. I always love saying that. Iwa Todai. <laughs> Could you tell I wanted to be a pilot? This is the final train bound for Tatsumi Port Island. So get the heck out of here, God. Please take care to board before our departure. They said it nicer than I ever could. Alright. Do you say thanks for the flight on a train? I guess not. What would you say? Anyway, you arrived late. And apparently we fell on the floor. Those things are gigantic. MC, pick, what are you doing? <laughs> You're adjacent to the ground. It's almost midnight. She's had a tough day. Train got delayed. And oh no. My clock. My favorite clock. It's destroyed. Bummer. Shouldn't have kept it in your front pocket. That's why you keep things in your back pocket. If you fall down, you can smash them. Oh god. Man. I'm doing my best job at butchering how amazing this intro is. It is like, it, I don't know, it still holds up, but being extra goofy, but there she is. Something about the atmosphere seems odd. It's 
probably best to hurry to the dorm. Yeah, I'll be so scared. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> That's peculiar. As you walk from the station, you notice coffin-like objects lining the deserted city. So she does notice them. Because keep in mind, this whole segment was like an animated intro in the original. And we didn't know if the hero, like, even noticed. Like, huh, that's weird. Maybe, uh, the Femsi is just a little more observant. It's an eerie, gigantic moon. Hmm. She did not think to take a picture. Maybe her phone doesn't have a camera. God, this game is old. That would be a possibility. I remember that. That was a new thing. Anyway. Gekko Khan High School. Iwa Todai Dorm. Is the dorm mention your admission pamphlet? Or at least I hope so, because if I open up the door and it's not, that'll be really awkward. That That's happened a lot to me. Anyway. Well, Welcome. Oh, hey. Forgot you, you were... You're late. I've been waiting a long time. God dang, was he always so creepy? An unknown boy is holding a piece of paper out to you. Would you please help me with my homework? I've been waiting all night. If you want to proceed... <laughs> Then please sign here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. It only binds you to accepting full responsibility for your actions. Hmm. Maybe in her head she's just like, alright, this is someone's little brother just role-playing. Whatever. Something's written on the paper he's holding out to you. He's wearing pajamas. That's probably it. I chooseth this fate of mine over our own free will. Blow is a blank. Oh, crud, the name. So this is... This is a hotly debated topic in previous uh, games, right? And oh, they do first name. Oh, that's such a cool addition. It used to be the opposite. And I'm like, what? Anyway. So this is like a big back and forth. Because um, there's been various forms of like media, right, that have called this character, which we're playing, right, different things. And even myself. I used to call her Hamuko... But it seems like nowadays it's uh, Kotone Shi. Oh my god, my Japanese sucks, dude. Shiome. I, I, it's so I'm so bad at remembering Japanese names. I had to like write this down. I still think I might have screwed up. Whatever. If I did, I'll fix it later. Very well. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. Wishing won't make it go away, and so it begins. The unknown boy disappeared, as if melting into the darkness. Well, that's peculiar. Who's there? Uh? How can you be... But it's... Don't tell me. The girl's holding something that looks like a gun. Wait! What was she gonna do? <gasps> Legitimately, why? What's the big deal? The lights... I didn't think you'd arrive so late. It's all we, 20s are messed up. I didn't think he'd just shoot me for that though. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's she? She's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign her here. She'll eventually be moved to a room in the normal dorm. Is it okay for her to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a junior this spring, just like you. Hi, I'm Yukari. What's up, put him there, sucker. Nice to meet you. Oh god. I just realized, yeah, I'm not using a guide. So I can be as crazy or silly as I want. We might even get reverse social links. Well, you know, Katone is written to be a little more straightforward, so. Why do you have a gun? Huh? Um, <laughs> well, it's sort of like a hobby. <laughs> well, not a hobby, but. No, she's not lying. You know how it is these days. <clears throat> it's for self-defense. It's not a real gun, of course. It's getting late. You'll find your room on the third floor. Your thing should already be there. I suggest you tuck in for the night. Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. And away we go. I do remember this specific walk in OG P3 being like a 15 second walk. So maybe I'm kind of okay with some of this being abridged, but here we are. This is it. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's right at the end of the hall. So, any questions? Who the heck was that boy? <laughs> what are you talking about? Come on, it's not funny. The car doesn't seem to know who you're talking about. Um, can I ask you something? What's up? On your way here from the station, 
Was everything okay? No, it was absolute hell. And pandemonium. I see. Oh, I lied. Sorry. <laughs> Never mind then. Oh, wow. Great. I think I'll go for a jog outside. Oh, no. You lied to me. Well, I better get going. Later. I assume there's... Hmm. Um... I don't know how much I should give away with this story, but... I'm sure you still have other questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Yeah, yeah, that's a good idea. Good night. Later. Oh, God, I'm so pumped. Car walked down the stairs. She do be doing that sometimes. This is your assigned room. And the door is gigantic. Whoa, our bed's different. I'm so ba I'm so easy to please. I've legitimately never seen this. All right. I've also never done this. Okay, I'm officially over it. But yeah, this is this is a little odd. You're tired. You go, oh man, I want to watch TV. Whatever. Anyway, uh, how do I? How do I bed? Let's go. God dang, we're gonna be doing that a lot. The next day, 2009. God dang. It's Yukari. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? Mitsuru Senpai asked me to take you to school. Are you ready to go? Just mm, raise I'll ever be. I mean, I'll, uh, okay, okay, then let's go. Dang, so the options actually are different. Oh my god. Here we are. We have this... to take the monorail to get there. Bet your last school wasn't like that, huh? This is my favorite part, when it feels like you're gliding over the sea. Our stop is Port Island Station at the end of the line. From there, we walk. Have you ever heard of Tatsumi Port Island? It's a man-made island. They built our school right in the middle. Oh, look, you can see it now. Dude, I'm eating this up, bro. It's just, yeah, they added, they added like Morning. little bits and pieces. It's Morning. nice. Morning. Well, here we are. Welcome to Gekukon High. You're gonna love it here. Sure I am. <laughs> You're okay from here, right? Oh yeah, I can handle it. I can handle the chew taking off process. You should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is right there to the left. And that concludes the tour. Do you have any questions before I go? Hmm. Nah, I'm all right. Hey. Huh? About last night, don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? Do you mean you're gone? We haven't seen anything, Yukari. See you later. All right. My hobby's so embarrassing. I don't want anyone to know. There are many people standing in front of the bulletin board. All right. Let's chat them up. <gasps> oh, dang. Hey, Kaz, why are you wearing your PE uniform on, like, the first day of school? It just started. You really got to find somewhere to change your normal clothes. These are my normal clothes, I guess. Okay, fine. Quit glaring at me. Where's the bulletin board the homeroom's posted? It's right there. You're in class F, Kaz. I'm in a different homeroom, so I can't keep an eye on you. Uh, I worry about you sometimes. A little freaking sorry. What's up with you? Oh, great. I have the worst teacher ever. He's legitimately stupider than I am. That's a problem. That is a problem. There's no need for them to post the names of the kids who are going to be in our class. We'll never see them again after we graduate anyway. Dang, bro, who hurt you? Freaking Jesus. Maybe he's a senior. He's a little melancholy. What? I don't see my name. What should I do? Oh, wait, there it is. Huh? We're in a different class. Whatever. I'm pretty... I'm, try... God, I'm like metagaming, but anyway, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it later. Here's our classes. Can't find your name. Crud, look again, Katone. Come on, persevere. There's a small note with your name on it. Okay, it's like a sticky note <laughs> at the very bottom. Katone Shiomi. Class F. Dude, every time I see that name, I think I'm gonna, sp I spelt it wrong. You look closer notes to the name Yukari Takuma. It's also on the list. Seems to be the same class as her. Heck yeah. What's this guy's deal? You got a portrait in this game? Oh, kids these days don't know how to show respect to their elders. Well, they're teachers. We've lived longer than them. So, you know, seniority. But Moriyama and her gang had to pull that on me the very beginning of the term. Moriyama, huh? I'm very sorry, sir, but I have to go. It, it, it's time for m to, to place an order. Ah, even you're shooing me away. Some way to start the school year. I don't think my nerves can take this. Dude, all right, I get it. What? Jesus. You want me to order more of those cream-filled breads you like so much? 
Just, just asked. All right. <laughs> just need somebody to vent to, I guess. And he, she is not down for it. Back at the office, think it's this way. Actually, I'm new here. You should probably ask someone else. Oh, okay. Wait, we are actually. Okay, so we're running up to these people and talking to them. I get it. I thought we were just sitting back here, and for some reason, she had insanely good hearing. All right, whatever. Okay, that's how you navigate. Got it. There he is. A man wearing a kabuto who looks like a teacher is talking to a foreign male student. Do you see? Every man must have the passionate samurai spirit within him. <laughs> Every single one of them. At our school, we encourage our students to think like samurai or to accomplish great things. That's fantastic. These teachings of Bushido are important than as they are now. Yes, yes, you're getting it. You may not have be a native of this land, but the spirit of samurai flows through you just the same. Oh, they're having fun. What's up with you? Oh my god. I've never engaged this character in my life. That is so exciting. Strange. It says this is the library here. If I was just in one down the hall, how many does this stinking school have? Is it just another classroom? I don't know. Uh, or is one of these doors the uh, faculty? Oh, there's a library. Oh. Sorry, I got a dork around. I'm in no hurry. But I actually want to see, like, not Easter eggs, but, you know, just what's happening. Oh, are you the new student? What if I am? 11th grade, correct? You got it. She's flipping through pages in a file. Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see. In 1999, that was, what, uh, 10 years ago? Your parents... <gasps> I'm sorry. I've been so busy I didn't have time to read this beforehand. That's all good. I get that a lot. I'm Miss Toriyumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. Pleased to meet you. My! Aren't you polite? <laughs> Girls like you should be an example for others. That's just what you say. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F. That's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Follow me. As you begin the new school year... Oh, yeah, yeah, this guy. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb, If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. Dang, he said it like no one else could, bruh. When applied to student life... Tell him, Grandpa. Means... Tell him how it is. The principal continues to drone on, and your consciousness begins to fade. Yeah? You can hear the students around you whispering. I heard we got a transfer student. Yep. I've seen her, too. She came to school with Yukari. I hear talking. I believe it's someone in Ms. Toriyumi's class. Shh. Be quiet. You're going to get me in trouble. Doesn't seem like the rumors will stop anytime soon. Well, don't worry. After like a month or so, you just blend in the background. Everyone will forget about it. The room's over. Your first school session is about to begin. What's up, dude? <laughs> you look like a deer in headlights. Do I? Who are you? Me? I'm Junpei Iori. Nice to meet you. You gotta admire that about him. The first day of school, and he's just like, Hey! What's up? I transferred here when I was in 8th grade. I know how tough it is being the new kid. Exactly. Man. So, I thought I'd check up on you. Make sure you weren't freaking out on your first day. He's such an angel. <laughs> At it again, huh? Uh -oh. Honestly, is there any girl you wouldn't hit on? Whoa! Hold up! Did you ever think you might be bothering someone? This gives me new perspective. What? <laughs> but I was just being friendly. And I was giving him the benefit of the doubt. If you say so. Yeah, yeah, I heard it a million times, you pay. Oh my god. Anyway, <laughs> some coincidence that we'd be in the same homeroom, huh? Hmm. I'm glad to have a friend. Well, I don't know if she's. You know, let's pick that anyways. A friend? Oh, you mean me. Who else would I mean? I mean, not uh, you know, Junpei. Yeah, I, I'm glad we ended up in the same class, too. Um, hello. <laughs> Did you forget I'm in this class, too? Come on, let me in on the fun. By the way, do you guys know each other? I heard you two came to school together this morning. A couple of cuties like you walking side by side. <laughs> the whole class was buzzing about you. Uh, could you just cut it out? I hate dealing with rumors like that. I mean, I'm used to it, but she just got here, you know? Don't you feel bad spreading rumors like that? Well, I've got to go take care of some archery team stuff. Don't try anything funny. You got that, Junpei? 
Jeez. What is she, your nanny? I mean, I... Well, just to clear something up, I seriously didn't come over here to hit on you or anything. If you ever have a problem, you can tell your old pal Junpei about it. I'll make sure to remember that. <laughs> cool. Well, I'll be seeing you around then. Later, dog. Oh, man. Do I have, like, a tear in my eye? I think I do. I'm just so... All right, Elephant in the Room. He's an important character. And I'm really excited to see him in a new light. But Junpei caught up to you in the halls and persuade, er, persuaded you into letting him walk you back to the dorm. Whoa, check out the jocks on the run. Hey, did anyone tell you about the school clubs yet? Oh, dog, what school club do I join? Girls can join too, so why not do it if you're interested? You'd be joining as a new member, though, so you won't be able to apply for a little while. You made small talk with Junpei while walking back. So just heads up, I don't, I don't have like a plan for this game, like legit, like, in, like pretty much every pe like persona project I think I've ever done. Got it all kind of mapped out. This time we're just doing a little more casual, and uh, I'm excited about that. But good gosh, it is gonna bug me. We probably Welcome will not back. see all the content. And if that bugs you, you, my bad. No, not gonna do about it. Let's save real quick. What's up with you? You really shouldn't be outside on your own at night. It's dangerous. Anyway, you must be tired. You should go get a good night rest, all right. What are you, my nanny? What are you doing? <laughs> uh, just looking around. What are you doing? Just killing time. Doing nothing. You're probably pretty tired. Go to bed. Like, right now. Do it. Okay, Jesus. Wait, no. Is it... Did they take it out? Yes! I mean, no, they didn't! Cielo missed, baby! You are nothing compared to Cielo. <laughs> Anyway, that is mandatory. I can't even make jokes like that. You're going for 100%. You gotta get yourself some Cielo Mist. Anyway, there's gotta be a faster way to get back to our room. Huh. I guess we'll figure that as time goes on. Later at the dormitory, a young man walked down the stairs as Mitsuru was reading a book. I'm going out for a bit. Hmm? Have you seen the newspapers lately? I know. People who had no problems before are suddenly developing acute cases of apathy syndrome. I've seen it in the news quite often lately. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It has to be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. He sounds so creepy. <laughs> you have a one-track mind. Will you be okay on your own? Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. I'm not saying no. But, uh... <sighs> This isn't a game, Akihiko. It does sound like he's going outside to beat people up for no reason. <laughs> it's... Oh, I'll make you study! <laughs> uh, anyway, you overhear a conversation. Did you hear the rumor? Oh, I'm something about a bathroom? No, not that one. I mean the story about the first year student. Not only did she stop coming to school, she does nothing but sit and stare at the walls all day mother tries to talk to her. She only mutters to herself, it's coming, it's coming. Huh, how about that? <laughs> anyway, let me tell you about this toilet. You don't believe me? Nah. I don't even, I don't even bother to start talking to you. All right. Open your textbooks and we'll take a look at the first novel by Zenzo Kasa. Oh, Frick, I don't remember the quizzes. <sighs> Why him? I'd rather teach about Utsubo Kubota. He became famous as a singer. He's also produced fine literature. I wonder why it's not in the textbook. Well, I'll just bring Kuboto's book next time. Hey, Junpei, were you listening? Who did I say was my favorite author? Uh, uh, um. Psst. Who does she like? Uh, I'm gonna say it was this guy. Uh, then again, the Kasai's, but no, it's this one. That's right. Ooh! <laughs> So you were listening to me after all. <laughs> well, you know, I like to pay attention. Man, you see my bacon, Katone. All right. Katone gave the right answer. And she got slightly more popular. Woo! Oh, God, we got to grind social stats. For I was having a blast. Oh, my God, crud. We got to go to the mall a hundred times to freaking... Oh, anyway, I'm getting ahead of myself. There's nothing to do, so you decided to go back to the door. That guy, he, I could talk to him and maybe he said something funny. Oh, never mind. Guess we'll never know. The car's already here. Talking with an unfamiliar man. Oh, she's back. What up? So, this is our new guest. Good evening. 
My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. <laughs> Hard to say, isn't it? Yeah? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Okay. I apologize about the confusion regarding your accommodations. Yeah, it's all, it's all good. However, it may take a while longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? Hmm. Uh... You know, I saw something very strange and peculiar. Was the moon always yellow? It's not like a... It's like something to do with the cities, like, you know... CO2. You saw something strange. Like what? Uh, your car's like, dude, shut up, shut up, shut up. You were probably just tired. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. Gaslighting, that's effed up. The moon is not yellow. That's ridiculous. How could it ever be? Maybe there's a yellow cloud in the way. But then, oh, then it would be yellow. Uh, anyway. It's bad for your complexion, you know. So about the way he's saying that. You're gonna get wrinkles if you worry so much. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Ah. Uh. Something doesn't seem right. Yeah, this is a... Uh... Do you have another question? No, I'm, I'm good. I'm kind of bored of talking to you. Then, I hope you have a successful school year. All right, but I gotcha. He does not go to school. I'm a dork. Now, if you'll excuse me, you must be tired from all the excitement. You should go to bed early. Yeah, all the excitement of going to school and coming back. Wow. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. Please forgive the bad puns. It's not even a pun. Oh my god, was he always like this? <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, he's always like this. He'll get used to his lame jokes. You should rest for today. God. <laughs> really, should I? Oh, she's so snug like a buck in a rug. Later at the certain room in the dormitory. <laughs> Working hard? So, how's she doing? She went to bed a little while ago. She's asleep now. Mr. Chairman, do you think she's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. So creepy. It's like, yes, we're watching you as you sleep, and also we have a computer that takes up the entire room. Meanwhile, in a back alley, Tatsumi Port Island. <sighs> this sucks. I think it's pretty fun. Upbeat music is playing from the radio that the man threw away. KJ Radio presents the Bay Tuners. Tune in again next week for more of the hits. This program is brought to you by Kirijo Electronics. Kirijo Electronics, always there when you need them. The time is now midnight. I actually, I'm going to repeat myself a lot, but a lot of these characters never had portraits before, so it's a little, uh, Alarming, but kind of cool. Oh god. Huh? Is there always blood like that? <laughs> what the? What's oh, happening no. to me? Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, that's alarming! <laughs> uh, I cannot help but laugh, but yeah, that's... Uh, hmm, she's still sleeping. And no dark sludge came out of her mouth. That's good. Wonderful. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. Mr. Akutsuki, we've been at this for years. Uh, why are you telling me this? Oh, I don't know. I just like talking. <laughs> During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then she must be... As you can see... She's retained her human form. She's asleep, but she's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not she has the potential. Although she must. If she didn't, they would have preyed on her by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor her for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on her like this. I just can't get over how they finally resized the bed. In normal P3, the beds were humongous. There's one benefit of this. Master Katone. What do you want? I'm trying to sleep after being instructed to- Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh my god. Him. Not Igor, but... Um, yeah, Igor. I mean, I'm always excited to see Igor, of course. But not just it. 
<laughs> He's so tiny looking. Welcome to the Velvet Room. What's up? My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. The paper you sign at the dorm is lying before Igor. Henceforth, you shall be welcome here in the Velvet Room. You are destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my help to do so. I only ask one thing in return, that you abide by the contract and assume responsibility for the choices you make. Hmm. Yeah, all right, sounds good to me. Hold on to this. You obtained a velvet key. There is still one more resident of this room who unfortunately could not be present for your arrival. Oh, I can't wait. God dang it. Oh well. It's not like he's going anywhere. But I'll make sure you two are properly introduced. Another time, perhaps. Till we meet again. Good to see you, Igor. It's crazy to remember his old voice was very, uh, you know, Mary Shelley inspired, I guess. Actually, I don't even think Igor was in the original books. I think that's like a movie thing. Anyway, you felt like you had a strange dream. Time to go to school, though. Woo! Yo! Man, I'm so sleepy today. Sometimes like these, it's best to sleep during class. Oh, God. Lord knows I did a lot of that at high school. Do I regret it? Maybe. You ever notice how sometimes taking a nap in class makes you feel more refreshed than sleeping at home? No, I do not, actually. I would always feel like crap. I would do it anyways. Don't sleep in class, Junpei. Come on, you gotta do great and go to a big school and, you know... What? Why do you have to be so serious? This feeling of completely recharged is awesome. I'm screwed later if I didn't hear the lecture. <laughs> I have classic literature today. It means we're stuck with Mr. Nasty Old Igoda. Oh my god. So I got a lot to say about this guy. Oh no, it's not the right guy. Freak, never mind. I have nothing to say about this guy. I lied. Ahem. I'm Mr. Ikoda. I'll teach you classic literature. I'll be teaching you about good old Japan all year long. Some people say classic lit isn't relevant to everyday life, but oh, how they're wrong. Otherwise, I'd have no purpose in life. So, <clears throat> the students, the other teachers, wrong, wrong, wrong. Nobody really understands classic lit, including you children. You're going to fail. But, uh, oh, God, you seem tired. Close your eyes for a few minutes. Nah, we got to stay, stay awake. Are you listening to me? Wake up, children. Now open your textbooks. First on your syllabus is Ise Monogatari. The origin of Japan's literature. It's a very interesting story. You youngest might call it Da Bomb. That's like 40 years old, bro. Ah, uh, I can tell you people are zoning out. You stayed up and listened. Oh my gosh, I'm academic boys. I wonder if those have been lowered. Because this game is kind of strict about that. You mean you carried the shoe boxes and decided to go home together? Oh no. Have you come here before? I've been here a couple of times. A lot of Gekukan students come here after school. There's a karaoke box and a CD shop. Oh, and a really great cafe, too. There's also a nightclub, but that's kind of not for us yet. <laughs> well said. The Polonia Mall is crowded with students on their way back from school. Just messing around and procrastinating on their homework. Welcome oh, back. what? Wait. You can't even... We just went to Polonia Mall. Yep, it's a great mall. You know, there's so much to do here. There's this. The... We're not going to do any of it, but you know. Anyway, let's head back. I mean, it's beautiful tonight, isn't it? It might be nice to read a book by a moonlight once in a while. God damn, you love reading. Jeez. Yukari, why did we stop and not go actually do anything at the mall? There used to be a dorm mother here to do stuff like cooking. But there's just us students here now. It'd be great to have somebody like that doing stuff for us, don't you think? Uh... Maybe I can be the door mom. I mean, I'm not a good cook. And Super Senpai just doesn't do things like that. You know, if you're really handy around the kitchen, that you could do some thing, or you could do something with this place. Okay. Hmm. I'll keep that in mind. Cooking mini game? Kind of doubt it. These network computers were installed the dorms were built. Their main purpose is to send score reports about daily life here in the dorm. Uh huh. Right. You can do this. Yeah, you, oh no, you can't do that. 
You can do this though. <laughs> Golly. Persona, it's amazing. You can urinate. Oh man, here we go. For whatever reason, I felt I felt like this whole segment of the game is a lot longer. I guess this is sort of like an abridged take on the game, which is good for the record, but at a certain room in the dormitory. How is she? The same as last night. She snores. Hmm. Very <laughs> interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. But I mean, come on, she doesn't even have sleep apnea. Wonderful. But this subject <laughs> is rather unique. She hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating her like a guinea pig. And? Well, I guess you're right. I understand your concern, but it's imperative that we recruit new members. And besides, guinea pigs are adorable. I heard she's in your class. Wouldn't you be more comfortable working with someone from the same grade? A female classmate at that. She is a girl, Yukari. You are a girl. You should be happy. Uh, okay, Kitsuki, what? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but still. Oh. An emergency call from the outside rang through the room. Command room. Is that you, Akihiko? You're not gonna believe this. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, I don't have time to talk. It's chasing me. I wanted to let you guys know. I'm almost there. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? All right, your car is a new recruit. Mr. Chairman, let's suspend our observation for now. We'll prepare for battle. All right. Be careful. Akihiko! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. He's having so much fun with this role. <laughs> this is no time to joke around. Oh, come on. It's awesome, though. It's one of them, Akihiko? Oh, yeah. It was this big. The biggest one I've ever seen, bro. Yes, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What the? You've got to be kidding me. Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake her up. Then escape out the back. But... What about you two? We'll stop it here. You let it to us, Akihiko, so I'm afraid you'll have to fight. Like I had a choice. I bet he was counting on that. What are you waiting for, Yukari? Go! Ha I'm going! You wake up to a loud noise. I'm surprised I don't have alarms for this exact purpose. Should we check outside? Mm, five more minutes. <laughs> wake up! I don't feel like it. Sorry, I'm coming in. What if I was naked? I don't have time to explain. We have to get out of here now. Uh, yeah, I won't Hurry, argue. downstairs. We'll lead through the back door. Wait, take this, just in case. All right. Oh, it's a Nagi not Okay, yeah. let's go. Follow me. You got it. She's, I guess she just had that line around. All right. All right. We should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Yes, I hear you. Be careful. There's more than one enemy. The one we're fighting isn't the one Akihiko saw. What? Uh, let's pull back. That's bad. Oh, man. I don't remember that. Here we are. Protect the vending machine at all costs. Oh, no. It's coming for this yellow mist. It's getting closer. Keep moving. Hurry. That's actually scary. God, this is like kind of horror inspired. I'm digging it. Oh, the door's locked. I think we're safe for now. Huh? <laughs> oh, hello there. <laughs> that is oh. <laughs> It's kind of cute. You gotta though. be kidding me. Yeah, it's a formless evil beyond our comprehension, I'm afraid. And climbed up the wall? There. They're on the roof. That gigantic shadow. Just what is it we're dealing with? Let's go, Mitsuru. Wait. That's the thing that attacked this place. We call them shadows. Oh, yeah. I have to fight. I can summon mine. No problem. Oh my god, I've seen it from that angle. 
Oh my god, they look so weird. <laughs> oh no. I mean, I remember, PSP was a while ago, but still. She's a natural. No hesitation. Just like that. That. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> uh, I cannot think of a larger downgrade in history. I hate to be a bummer, but. <gasps> My God, that was crazy. What on earth was that? He took the bunch of hands into his arm and crushed it with his own hand. Oh my God, it's so cool. A little delayed reaction, Koozie. Huh. Well, anyway, that's a heck of a mascot. Now we're back to the... Well, I mean... She's cool, too. The sudden swell of power has subsided. Orpheus regained its original form. We have obtained a new persona. Yeah. Anyway, now to never use it again. Is it over? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you did great, Yukari. I... I oh. What's that sound? It's still moving! The heck? A piece of the shadow is heading for Yukari. No! Get away from me! You have to save her. Alright, let's do it. Never mind, I guess we will use it again. Oh, man. Wiping them all out, baby! Yeah! There was not a defend action before. That is definitely new. Anyway. God, our damage is crazy. <laughs> so inflated. <laughs> I don't mind though. Anyway, great battle theme. You're not gonna hear a lot of it. Sorry. Not sorry. Good job. Man. It's just. This. this oh my god, we got two levels from one fight. I will say this though, just as far as a horde goes, some of these sound effects are scuffed. It's unfortunate. What can you do? The monsters are gone at a strikingly quick speed, I must, I must say. Wow. Seems Yukari's safe, too. You feel exhausted. You're losing consciousness. That is not a good thing, in case you didn't know that. Huh. Are you okay? Oh, come on. Please. Can you hear me? Answer me! Hopefully we can see... Igor in our dreams again. Yeah, there he is! Woo! Best character! This is the Velvet Room? Never heard of it. It's so nice to see you again. I know, and so soon. You became unconscious after awakening to your power. I see that it was Orpheus that heeded your calling. That power is called a persona. It is a manifestation of your psyche. Hmm. Can you elaborate on that? A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. Hmm. So for those on you know, yeah, this is Jungian psychology at its root. It's kind of what makes the Persona series unique in my mind. Other role-playing games, you know, they have like high fantasy and some of them are in the future, but Persona's in the modern day. Where, you know, we have modern people. Modern. This game's a little old, but... That's just so cool to me. You know? So who's Orpheus? What's his background? Tell me, Igor. <laughs> when you use your persona ability, you must channel your inner strength. The ability evolves as you develop your social links, your emotional ties with others. The stronger your social links, the more powerful your persona ability. Please, remember that. I'll try my best. Now then. Where is this, you know, other person wanted me to meet? Time marches Aww. on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Is he hiding behind the curtain? Igor, who is, come on, who is it? Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. 
always making me wait. Until then, farewell. Farewell, Igor. Golly. Oh my god, we slept a while. Holy moly. That's a time skip. Your head is getting clearer. Thank God I probably missed so much homework. Cry. Uh, you see a white ceiling. I wonder how long you've been asleep. You feel someone's presence besides you. You're awake. Dang. I wonder how many days she came here. Um, how do you feel? Hmm. Yeah, how long? You've been coming every day, you car? Oh, thank goodness you finally came too. Dodge is the question. I was so worried about you. The doctor couldn't find anything wrong with you. He said you were just exhausted. Um, I'm sorry I couldn't do anything. Yeah, I guess she did feel kind of guilty. But your power, it was amazing. Your persona even screamed like a dinosaur. That, wow, I wish I could do that. She's just a cow, but, uh, but what would I do? Dinosaurs? The power you used, we call it persona. And those creatures you defeated are shadows, our enemy. We'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. It's understandable, See, you know, secret organization. I, uh, I wanted to tell you that I'm sort of like you. Hmm, what do you mean by that? My dad died in an accident when I was little. My mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, right? To be honest, I already know about your past. But it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine. It was back in 99. There was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast. But nobody really knows what happened. He was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group. So, I'm hoping that if I stick around long enough, I'll find out something. That's why I'm going to Gekukan High, and why I was there when this happened to you. Of course, I panicked and wasn't much help. It was my first time fighting them, too. I'm sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I wasn't such a coward. Well, given, you know... It was a big one, like Aki said, so... You know, I'm scared, too. Don't sweat it. Really? But still... Here I am telling you all this the minute you wake up. While I was waiting, I thought to myself... I've been hiding so many things from her. As soon as she wakes up, I'll tell her the truth. Oh, that's so precious. So, thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you woke up. Oh, and uh, you don't have to be formal around me or anything. A second year girl's gotta stick up for each other after all. Bye. Hey, uh, can, can I get some food, though? Like, it's been like a couple days, you car. I don't know. I guess we're back to school. Yo! Long time no see. Was that? You have an upset stomach or something for two weeks? Almost. Anyway, I got something to tell you. Uh, are you alright? Is your tummy that's our, Are you projecting, Junpei? Is that what this is? Dude! Just fine. Forget the old Junpei. Sheesh, someone's full of energy today. Here from all the way over there. Hey, it's Yucatan. You two live in the same dorm, yet come separately, huh? Because you're. You'll cause too many rumors again. Two girls walking to school. What kind of rumor is that? What? I just left a little late. Anyway, I need to talk to her. Bye bye, Junpei. What? You cut. Are you feeling better, Katone? I'm sorry to hit you with this first thing in the morning. Kutsuki san wants to talk to you today. Come to the fourth floor in the dorm after school, all right? Don't forget. I'll try not to. Anyway, class it is. That's enough mammoths. I don't see the big deal. They're just huge elephants, really. And that wraps it up for the Stone Age. Ugh, I'm tired of lessons about stones. Let's talk about Japan. <laughs> I'd rather... <laughs> Here he goes. <laughs> I'd rather talk about the Sengoku era. Japanese history is not that exciting until then. Though I'm paid to do this, so I've... God, a tough at being an adult. Ugh. Next is the Jomon period. The summer I get their day in the sun. I'll just ask a question at random and call it a day. Hey, Junpei, what was the style of house in the Yomon period? Oh my god. Ella? How am I supposed to know about that? Quick, Tony, what the heck is he talking about? I don't know. Elevated houses, that sounds right. It was. It's probably too old to be caves. 
I'm gonna say mud huts. That sounds right. That's it. Yes, let's go. That's correct. Mud huts were built by digging a hole in the ground and supporting the roof. It's no use. I, I can't get interested. Who cares about mud? I want to get to the age of katanas. Everything else is so dull. I answered right. I don't get any credit. What the? Uh, oh, uh, thanks, Katone. <laughs> All right, not bad. I still got it. You know, they start you with the easy questions. Anyway, class is ended for today. And so has our first episode of Persona 3 Portable. I, I'm just so excited to jump back into a Persona project. And this time, this time I can't look at my other monitor and see the quiz questions. So this is going to get tough. But on top of that, like legitimately, this is not the strongest opening in Persona. Like we just got to get it the good part. Like, so <laughs> let me try and get these videos out on the regular. And yeah, see you next time. Bye.